Welcome to Trend Beat Cars, the new area of Aston Martin kicks off with a gorgeous two-door that's more than just a grand tour. It's a big year for British Mark Aston Martin. Meet the 2024 Aston Martin DB12, the first of eight new Astons scheduled to debut over the next 24 months. The DB12, says Aston Martin Chief Technology Officer Roberto Fedeli, is a statement car. And when you look at some of the headline numbers, it's hard to disagree. 671 horsepower, thero to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, and a top speed of 202 miles per hour, all from a car that replaces the DB11 V8, Aston's outgoing entry-level Grand Tour. But dig a little deeper, and we can perhaps forgive the team at Aston HQ excitedly proclaiming. This is the world's first super tour. Grand is not enough. There's a lot to unpack in the DB12. At first glance, the DB12 doesn't look all that different from the DB11, which is still one of the best-looking GDs in the business. There's a bigger grille and dramatic venting in the hood, plus new headlights, bumpers, and side sills. The rear end looks almost identical, but 80% of the car is new, insist Aston insiders. The DB12 delivers all the curbside Aston gorgeousness we expect. What's new is that the real money has this time been spent on performance and handling hardware, and on stuff that Aston Martin hasn't always done exceptionally well. Let's start with the chassis. The DB12 is based on the DB11, with fundamentally the same structural hard points and powertrain. However, the bonded aluminum body structure is 7% stiffer overall, with the stiffness across the front strut towers increased by 140% to improve on center feel from the electric steering system which needs just 2.4 turns of the steering wheel to go from lock to lock. The suspension design and geometry are the same as that of the DB11, but the front track has been widened by 0.25 inch and the rear track pumped by 0.86 inch. The stiffer structure enables the new Bilstein DTX adaptive shocks, which have four times the operating range of the DB11's units to better finesse wheel and body motions. The 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 under the hood is the same AMG-designed, AMG-sourced engine that serves so well in the DB11, but modified cam profiles and bigger turbos combined with compression ratio tweaks have boosted power to 671 horses at 6,000 RPM and torque to 590 pounds-feet between 2,750 and 6,000 RPM, increases of 34% and 18%, respectively. This is the only engine option. There won't be a V12-powered DB12. Instead, the V12 will power a successor to the DBS 770 Ultimate, a fast and brawny front engine coupe that will be badged. The DB12 engine drives the rear wheels through the familiar ZF8 speed automatic used across the current mainstream Aston Martin range, although the transmission's electronic brain has been reprogrammed to improve response and shorten shift times. The final drive has been shortened 13% to improve standing start acceleration and in-gear rolling response, and for the first time on a DB Aston, an electronic differential is standard. The default brake setup includes drilled and slotted steel discs measuring 15.7 inches up front and 14.2 inches at the rear. Carbon ceramic brakes, which save a total of 60 pounds, are available as an option. The standard wheels are 21 inches all-round, and the DB12 marks the OEM debut of Mitch Lynn's new Pilot Sport Test 5 Tiker. Size 275 by 35 at the front and 315 by 30 at the rear, this version of the S has been built to Aston Martin's specification and features a polyurethane foam insert in the carcass that is said to reduce transmitted road noise by 20%. Thank you for joining us on this incredible adventure. Until next time, keep watching, keep driving, and keep dreaming. See you in the next video.